I'm Luke Rivard, District Sales Manager with the Crosby Group. Welcome to this edition of Ask the Expert, our podcast series. Today we'll be answering a question from Joshua Ramos at Skanska. And the question is, what are inspection requirements specific to Crosby Sherlock hooks? Just like this one right here. Well, thanks Joshua for your question. When inspecting Sherlock hooks, Crosby identifies three critical items specific to these hooks. This is outlined in our Sherlock hook field inspection data sheet. Number one is to verify clearance between the hook tip and the latch and to confirm it has not grown larger than the tolerance stated for each specific size of hook. Number two would be to check the condition of the spring internally to see if it's damaged or bent and to ensure that it has proper tension so that the hook can positively lock. The third item concerns allowable latch side play inspect the rivet and the side play of the latch. On site, this can be determined as shown on the Sherlock hook field inspection data sheet by imagining a center line on the plane of the hook and if the latch can tilt past the center of the tip of the hook, it should be removed from service. Otherwise, our rejection criteria during inspection would follow ASME B30.26 for rigging hardware and any additional criteria on B3010 for hooks. Now this would include material wear, wear in critical areas of the hook, any deformation, bends or twists in the plane of the hook, severe nicks, severe gouges, any cracks or evidence of heat damage, and the ability to read any markings on the hook itself. Well, thanks Joshua for today's question. And we will see you next time on Ask the Expert.